Hello! Today we're going to be talking about Jamberry tools of the trade and nail prep. And um, I just have to say how important it is to have proper nail preparation and the right tools to make your Jamberry nail wrap application perfect, okay? And something that's important to take note of is that our wraps are heat and pressure activated. They're not just stickers that you're gonna peel off and stick on your nails and hope for the best, okay? There is a proper method. And so we've gotta have our nails ready to go, okay? The first thing you're gonna need to do to your nails is to shape them, all right? And there are two different types of files that you can get through Jamberry. Um, and we have two different application packages, kits, uh, that can help you get those, okay? One is gonna be our basic application kit. This kit um, comes with all the tools you need, or you can get the deluxe application kit. It's a leather-bound pouch um, that contains all of the tools you'll need as well, okay? <clears throat> so you're gonna shape your nails, and my favorite tool is the glass nail file, okay? It is ultra-fine, ultra-smooth, and it provides when you do use it as a file on your nails it gives you a smooth finish so you don't have any raggedy splintered areas on your fingernails okay um, you can use our black file but it is a very coarse very rough file this file is best used to help trim off the remainder of your wrap at the end of your application okay and you're going to want to watch the application video uh, to learn how to properly use that. So our glass file, this is my favorite. Um, and you're just going to go in, decide the shape of your, that you want, and file your nail, nails. It's best to file your nails in only one direction versus back and forth and back and forth, okay? But a glass file produces a very smooth finish. There's no raggedy edges and nothing that's going to catch on a sweater or on a hose or anything like that, all right? So file, shape your nails. The second thing, and I cannot emphasize this enough, is to push back a cuticle. We have on our fingers, we have um, these areas of invisible cuticle, and you cannot see them, thus invisible. <laughs> they lie right above your natural cuticle and across your nail bed. And if that invisible cuticle is not cleaned off of there, you'll not get adhesion. You'll not get good adhesion. Okay, so we have two tools that you can do that with. In our basic application kit, you get the purple um, rubber pusher. I use this for a lot of things. I love this. It's got a soft rubber tip, okay? And so you can use that to push back your cuticles. And you wanna push back the bottom cuticle and the side, okay? So all the way around. On the other end of this is an angled flat portion. And you can actually use this to scrape away that invisible cuticle. So you just kind of scrape at the nail right where that invisible cuticle would be, okay? If you're going to be purchasing the deluxe kit, the du deluxe kit has a metal cuticle spoon. I love this product, okay? So it's got a large spoon head at the top, or the bottom, <laughs> and a small spoon head, okay? This can also be used to push back the cuticles, okay? But it's kind of a two-in-one, so you can also use it gently to scrape away the invisible cuticle at the same time. You don't want to push too hard. This is metal, and it can peel off the top layer of your nails if you're too rough, so be gentle. Treat your nails gently. Okay, so you're going to push back your cuticle and remove the invisible cuticle. Jamberry also um, has a cuticle remover pin, which is fantastic. You paint it on and then wipe it off, and it takes that invisible, invisible cuticle right off. Okay. Third thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to lightly buff the shine off your nails. And we have these white buffer blocks. And what you can't see in this video is how smooth this is. There is no roughness to this whatsoever. It's very smooth, almost like paper. And when you're doing that, you only wanna take off the shine. So you can use it across the top of your nails, okay, just back and forth, lightly. And the whole goal is to remove, see how this one still has a shine on it? Is to remove the shine. You're just doling it up some. That's it. Okay, so it's just lightly done. White buffer block. 
remove the shine. That's very important. If you have too much shine on your nails and not everybody has the same consistency. So some people's nails are very shiny and some people's nails are not. You don't want to have any of that really shininess. That is the oil of your nails coming through and that oil will not allow your jam berries to stick. All right. The third thing you're going to want to do is um, wash your hands. So now you've got your nails shaped and you've pushed back and removed your cuticle and you have taken the shine off. All right. Now we need to remove all the oils. So we want to remove the oils from our nails and our cuticles as well as from our fingers because we're going to be handling our nails and our wraps and we don't want to have any oil there when we handle those. Okay. The best way to do that is to drop into your kitchen and use some Dawn dish soap and Dawn dish soap takes the oil right off and it's gentle. So when you do that, wash your hands thoroughly, give your nails a little rub, a little scrub. You can use a fingernail scrubber if you'd like. Okay. And make sure you do the tips and the fingertips of your hands to get off any oils. All right. We're almost done with nail prep. It's easy, right? Um, one other thing you want to do before, um, doing your nails. Oh no, and I don't have one with me is you want to use an alcohol prep wipe, okay? And we, we provide those. They come in your application kit. They're little silver packets. And they have a nice big law, large cloth in there that has got our nail prep solution, which is an, a light alcohol, and it also removes oils. So after you've washed and dried, right before you apply, you're gonna wanna use that nail prep wipe. And if you don't have a nail prep wipe, you can use rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab, or you can use white vinegar and a cotton swab. Um, if you have um, sensitive skin, white vinegar is the way to go, okay? I also like to use white vinegar on the littles, so when we're doing little kids' nails, white vinegar is gentle, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, our, web, our prep wipes or our bottle of prep is also very gentle and when you watch my application video i'll have one of those wipes to use so now our prep is completely done okay i just want to show you one other thing really quickly so when we're talking about the tools remember that you're going to need a file preferably glass but i like both i keep both with me okay so a glass file and a coarse jamberry file that's for shaping and at the beginning and also helping to remove the excess wraps, which you'll learn about in the application video. You're going to want to have um, a cuticle pusher, okay? So either our purple pusher or in our deluxe kit is our um, metal spoon. So our deluxe kit has a metal spoon, our glass vial. You're gonna to wanna to have a pair of clippers, okay? Not everybody's nails are shaped the same. Some nails are easier to clip the wrap or clip the nail, and that's fine too. Um, some people let their nails grow nice and long, and right before they do their wraps, they're, they might be a little jagged, and they don't shape them right away. They put the wraps on, and then they trim them with these, wrap and all, to get that nail squared off, and that's okay too. Nail scissors are a must. And they come in both of our kits, so in our deluxe and in our basic application kit, you're going to get a nice pair of rounded nail scissors, and these are great for clipping our wraps. You'll definitely want one of those. Okay, one of my other favorite tools to use is um, this is a spring-loaded clipper, and I already have one out of my kit, and I'll show it to you. These are spring-loaded. There's a little spring in here, and they're um, sharp on this side and not on the other. And so when you're using them, this trims nail wraps so, so efficiently and so easily um, when you're going in to trim your wraps. This, I think, gives is my favorite tool. It gives the best um, edge to the nail wraps when you're clipping them off and doesn't give me any problems. So I can use it with my good hand, my right hand, or my bad hand, my left hand. Versus for me, I can use nail scissors in my right hand all day but I cannot use them in my left hand. They don't cut. I can't make my hand do the work. I've had some wrist surgery and so it's even harder for me. Um, so I like those spring-loaded nail clippers, okay? A um, Couple of other things you're gonna wanna have. And this isn't a necessity. Um, this is an orange stick and it comes in our application kit. And I use these for a lot of different things. 
like to push down our wraps. One thing I don't want you guys to use this for is please don't use it to remove a cuticle. It is very sharp and you could really injure yourself. So that's not what this is for. And I like to apply my wraps with a pair of tweezers and you'll learn about that in our application video, okay? So files, cuticles, buffing, that's that buffer block. Um, wash your hands with Dawn dish soap and use an alcohol prep wipe or our, lac or our, our nail prep solution or rubbing alcohol or white vinegar to remove any of the remaining oils. One other tool that I think is essential, okay, is our mini heater. And this is our mini heater right here. Before I show it to you all the way, I wanna tell you that when I started using Jamberry, I didn't know about the mini heater and you can use a hair dryer. You need heat and you need pressure and so this is gonna provide your heat. The one issue that I have with using a hair dryer, since I've learned, I know better, right? I learn more, know better. Hair dryer is loud. It blows all of my stuff around. So when I'm using a sheet of wraps, I've got wraps flying everywhere. Things are flying everywhere, okay? And how many hands do I have? I have two hands. Only two. Can you hear me? Hello? I have two hands. So I need to put my wraps on and heat them up with this, and then I need to press them on. And so I'm doing one of these, and then doing this, and doing this. I'm trying to hold it between my legs, and things are blowing everywhere. And it's just not easy or convenient. It's not easy or convenient. It's definitely not my favorite tool. However, Hello, mini heater. Our mini heater is on. It is quiet. It does not blow my paper around. It holds my paper perfectly still. Look at that, there's no movement. Okay, all the way. It gives the exact amount of heat that you need to apply your jams. Now it's hot, but it won't burn you. Okay, so it's safe. Um, it's safe for even little hands because you can move your hand, fingers back and get less heat or closer and get more heat, okay? And it's got a stand. So when I set it down on my desk over here, which you cannot see, but when I sit on my desk, I can, I still have two usable hands. I don't have to hold on to it. So there it is, sitting on my desk. So I can put my wrap on, get it all set up just right, put my hand in front of my uh, heater, and still press. I don't have things flying everywhere. It's quiet, it's efficient. It is exactly the perfect tool and I highly recommend everyone get one. My very favorite bundle, my very favorite package deal, the best way, in my opinion, to get started with Jamberry is the basic bundle. The basic bundle comes with four wraps of your choice. You can choose any of our wraps for that, including our junior sizes, our deluxe wraps, any of those wraps, okay? It comes with our application kit, and you can get the application kit with or without your cuticle oil. Get the cuticle oil. You want to take good care of your nails. Cuticle oil is a must. Get that. Okay? And it comes with our mini heater. And basically, when you pay for this kit, you're getting our mini heater for $1. $1. You cannot go wrong. It is the best kit. It's the basic bundle, so make sure you pick one of those up. Okay? So now you know all the tools of the trade and our nail prep. I'll see you soon for our application.